Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at the number one selling luxury fifth wheel in the RV industry. This is the 2021 Keystone Montana model 3781RL. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this fifth wheel and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews, Tobles. It's the world's only channel giving you the true and biased review about everything when it comes to travel trailers, fifth wheels, and toy haulers. And again, today I am super excited to be taking a look at the Montana, finally. This is the first Keystone Montana we've had on our show. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey, Will. Hey, guys. How's it going? Pretty good. I'm super excited to show you. It's just a basic rear living floor plan. But the cool thing is you're going to get to see all the features that Montana has to offer. And yep. what makes it, you know, the number one selling fifth wheel. Yep. And I would like to thank Mother Nature uh, for giving us this beautiful day. It is November 10th in Ohio. <laughs> yeah. And it's so warm. Let's begin. Model is 3781RL, but the actual tip to tip length of this fifth wheel is 41 feet. The dry weight is 13,460 pounds. And Will, the hitch weight? 2,695 pounds. Perfect. Uh, that's big, that's heavy. All, you know, so check this out, folks. It's not necessarily so much about how much your truck can tow. You also want to make sure you can handle that pin weight as well. Yep. Always check with your local General RV first. Uh, up front here, beautiful painted fiberglass front cap. Montana, it's iconic. It is the best selling luxury fifth wheel on the market today. I love the orange amber glow lights right there as well, Will. Yeah, very nice. If you have the patented hitch vision, um, something that Keystone likes to do to help back you up into their fifth wheel hitch. Roto armor trailer pin box, I love that. And because this is a Keystone, you get the three year structural warranty. Coming down the side or up front here. It's just where your batteries will go. Okay. Nothing fancy. That's your hydraulic fluid because you do have six point hydraulic leveling. Okay. And then here is going to be storage slash prep for a generator. Very nice. Oh, great. And then right here is your propane tanks and then you can see the landing gears that is a, once again hydraulic all right look at this storage okay. wow wow very nice a lot of storage and then this okay here's your centralized oh, cool. vacuum and this is where a tv would go something i do want to point out nice slam latch doors schwintex slide out system right here it's okay, it's up front, it's a smaller slide out system. And then they use the rack and pinion slide out right there. That's hydraulic, right Will? Um, I yes. don't, is it? I think so. Okay, I maybe it is. So. Oh yeah, I think you're right actually, yeah. Well, it is Matt's RV or he's most. <laughs> Believe it or not, I'm wrong a lot. Nice power awning with LED lights. Look, I love that. The awning's right there and there's an awning on the slide out. The four season living package, which means it has the heated and closed underbelly with heating pads on the tank. There's a propane quick connect right underneath there. And then check this out. Look at that. Hydraulic assisted steps makes it very easy to get these steps up and down. When you're at the campsite, check out these tires, Will. They're the, uh, the, they're the steel rate of oh, the, it's the Salooms, I love those. ST235-80R16, and we do have the Roto Armor Trailer Pit Box. All right, okay, so I've seen this. This power awning, you have different things that you can put in here. Uh, it's pretty cool if you go on Keystone's website, you'll be able to see that. Frameless windows throughout this whole fifth wheel. And then coming around the back, 50 amp power cords there. You do have a hitch there. There's no wirings. 
Please. Yes, there is. Oh, there is? Yep. Oh, there is. So you can tow something behind this. We never recommend that, uh, but you can do it. And then there's a Furion backup camera. Also, there's a ladder to get up on the one piece TPO roof. Let's go up there and take a look. Here we go now. All right, up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one piece TPO roof. We have not one, but two air conditioning units. I love that. Right here, you can see your fans. You have your shower dome right there. And then right there is a wine guard digital antenna. And if you haven't already, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. What did RV salesman's goal take his fat ass up on the roof? Show you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. Finishing up. Right over here. It's where you dump your black and gray tank right there, Will. Yep. Water heaters right here. Again, six point hydraulic leveling. Right over here is the other side of that storage. And then look at that water hookup. Very nice. Exterior shower, keys, TV, battery disconnect, potable water fill. Potable, potable. The other side of propane. And then here's your six point leveling controls. Oh, also look at these marker lights. It is prepped for the Furion side cameras. So if you have a Furion screen, you'll be able to see it all. Well, Will, the outside of the Montana looks great, but it's really the inside that's made the Montana the best selling fifth wheel in the country. Let's go take a look. All right. I've been screaming so much. Uh huh. I don't know if I'll be able to make it through today with my voice. <laughs> All right, we'll start up front. Here is the bedroom, the bathroom here. The kitchen and dining area here. Wow. With the living in the rear. As Will said in the beginning, it's basic. You've seen this floor plan a million times, but to see it done the Montana way is the difference. The Montana, no, this isn't the way this floor plan, this isn't the way Montana does this floor plan. This is the way the Montana does it and every other floor plan tries to replicate it. You yes. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So nice. So first and foremost, back here, we start with a rear sofa. Very nice, very comfortable. It's kind of like a leather material. It is trifold, so it does come out to make an adult size bed. And we do have posts on both sides. Also windows around both sides. We have your daytime shades and privacy shades. How do you like the balances, Will? They're nice. I think they're nice as well. You and I, we don't have any taste, but I feel like Andrea would like the balances. Yeah. Can you get those for sure. us? Storage up top here. Nice storage. Oh, sorry, magnet. Oh, oh, oh. Soft close. Oh boy. And then I love the transparent doors. Yeah. Like with the diamond shape. Mm. Storage there. Very nice. And last one. Yep. Very nice. Good amount of storage and everything. We do have a ceiling fan right there. Also, notice the Whisper Quiet air conditioning units. That's very unique. Uh, it's unique that it's black because normally when I see them, they're the white covers. Yeah. And then check out this theater seats. Okay? I like that. Look at that. I love this because when you want it to be theater seats, you can. Oh, that's a pair of Prism of Power right there. When you want it to be the theater seats, you can. And if you do need another seating area for a kid or a dog, it does convert into a sofa, power seats and everything, USB chargers and everything. And why I really love this is because, well, first we do have storage above, right? Yep. Storage above there. 
and there. And why I really love this sofa, Will, is because it's directly across from the television. Jensen TV, we do got some storage above. Nice big TV. This is nice. Oh man, see look, that's good for a, a video yeah. game system. Um, you know, you got your sound system and fireplace right there. Very nice, I love what they're doing right here with the wood, how yeah. I'm calling it like a burnt look. Right. Just looks very, very good. Cool, and then over here, let's check this out. Oh man, oh boy, oh boy. So here's the dinette, I love the two chairs. Um, historically, people who are buying in Montana is a couple, right? So you don't need more room to that. And if you do, you got seating under the bed. We got the tower power. Man, could we hit the trifecta of power? Right. Very nice. And then, oh, you know what this does as well? This table will move. Oh, does it? Yep. So if a bigger person wants to sit over there, that's cool. You can do that. The bigger person isn't limited to just one side. I love that. And then the sleeve goes up. If you do need more, they might give two more chairs. Yeah. No, there's definitely two more chairs under the bed. Yeah. Well, Will, it's now time for the MSRP. <laughs> MSRP on this fifth wheel right here is. $95,064 MSRP. Sale price, as you can see right now, because it's a 2021, we don't have a sale price. But Will, here's what I do know. Doesn't matter what the sale price is, we can get you the best sale price in the country. Here's what everybody does. Go to mattsrvreviews.com, that's our website. Go to the contact me tab, you'll get three options. If you just want the best price of this, click option one and somebody and fill out that form. Somebody from my team will be contacting you to get you the best price ASAP. If you just have general RV questions that you, you need my advice on something, you're looking at two or three different units, perfect. Click that second tab. Will or myself, we will reach out to you within 24 hours and uh, we'll be able to answer your questions. Or if you're really not looking to purchase an RV at this time, and you just want to connect with us, click that third option. That will be for our fan email. Also, make sure you join us on Club Art Deco. That's our Facebook page. That's the best way to become friends with me, Will, and Andrea on Facebook and connect with us and just chat and learn about each other and everything. But regardless, the whole point is, Will, the whole point, no matter what time frame you're looking at for a purchase, we will always be able to get you the best price in America. Burr, 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 burr. Will? Let's continue the video. All right. And I do want to add one thing. Yeah. The, um, we're in Ohio. Yeah. Ohio and Birch Run, Michigan are the only two stores that sell these. Oh, okay. For now. For right. now. But as soon as uh, Montana sees this video, they're going to want to give it to us at all our dealerships. That's right. Oh. All right. So in the kitchen, I don't think there's going to be a lack of storage here. Well, look at the counter space. Seriously. Amazing. It's huge. Um, we have another what is it tower of power or tower power? power tower of power tower of power yes here. i love that nice solid surface countertops i do like this backsplash here too very nice and they did integrate you know enough lighting underneath yep oh and there's lighting under the cabinet uh -huh. counter i don't know if you can see that or not yes sir nice drawer space here and more storage underneath yep wine rack up top yes sir Nice convection microwave. Uh-huh. It's a high point. Suburban three burner gas cooktop. Yes, sir. All right there. And then it look at that. Have the lights. Ooh. And oven. Wow. Really Storage good size engineer. oven. Yep. Very good size. And you do have a window there as well. All right. More storage. I love what they're doing here. with the color of the cabinetry yeah, as well. Yeah, it is nice. It's still light, bright, and refreshing, but it's more like a gray look. Right. Another drawer here. Mm -hmm. And storage underneath. Very nice. Go to the island. They Again, they continued this, the solid surface countertops with this huge countertop. Yep. Nice, like two-tone faucet there. Mm, interesting. I, yeah, I love these sinks. I could, you know, typically I, I like the one big sink, but I do like when, you know, they do, if they're going to do two, 
you know this setup where they still have one big one yeah don't make don't do the split sink where they're both the same size exactly, you know yeah. very nice very nice here oh that's an 83 dollar trash can oh, oh that's double 83 dollar trash cans that's 166 dollars for the trash cans no go. wonder why the montana is number one selling that's right um oh cutting boards oh, right yeah. there very nice I love, and, that's cool. No, and a place to keep the cutting yeah, boards. that's cool. That's that's what it's all about. More storage Perfect. there. We got a drawer right there. Oh, this was the um, this was the light things that I was telling you that oh, okay. clipped on the awning. So they come with it. That's cool. Yep, very nice. A little bit of storage there. Yes, sir. Then coming over here, nice GE big residential fridge. And I believe and Montana, you can option them with the uh. Uh, I believe that's correct. correct. And it does have an ice maker. Yep. Coming over here. Look at that tall storage yeah. up there. That is, oh my, no, that's that huge. it's gone. It's gone. If something rolls back there, yep. it's never coming out. <laughs> okay. Oh, so, I, okay. Wow. Uh, so, you, that's kind of cool though, because you kind of have like a coat hanger. So yeah, you know what I mean. If you don't want to use it as a washer dryer, it's right inside the door. Well, here's what I will say, right? With how much storage is in here, I mean that's a pantry as well. Yes. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So this that's doesn't okay. need to be a pantry. Yeah. So yeah. so it works well. Oh, show that again. I'm sorry. Well. Oh yeah. Well. Oh. Yep. Yep. What? Yep. Which way are you going? <laughs> there you go. There you go. Up top, and then pantry here with all your controls. Nice. Well. And you know what? I I'm telling you, man. That's everybody everybody likes everybody likes the in command system i'm not a fan of it i'm not either yep i'd much rather have that yep yes sir all right up up the aisle i like the handle there yeah the uh guard rail or whatever you want to call have it a, um, the centralized vacuum that. kick plate there yep it's now time for the tall test speaking of i love this window in the hallway as well yes little it's little touches like that that's the difference yeah so definitely tall enough don't okay. you think? Uh, I do. It I'm looks it looks lie. narrow. I'm a little disappointed for how I, big everything no, I, else is. I'm not. I I am disappointed. Yeah. It's I mean, tall it, enough. It passes the tall test. The, the the tall test isn't an opinion. It's right. Is it tall or is it not tall? It is right. tall. It's tall enough. But I I will. I must admit, it's not. It's a good size shower, but for how big this fifth wheel is, yeah. it could have been a lot better. Definitely. We got yeah. some storage right there, folks. A little bit more below. If you want to hold it. I do like the double sinks right here. Yeah. We have this, this, and this. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. The double sink. Not solid surface really? in here. Well, it is, but it's not that, um, it's not that, uh, same type of countertop in there. In the kitchen. I always forget what this is called. Like for mica or something. I forget the name. And then it's now time for the toilet test. Let me over here. Yep. You can go on out. Porcelain. Yep. I mean, this passes. This is a prime pooping position. Bing! I wasn't. I'm looking in there. I'm like, man. <laughs> Let's continue. Into the bedroom. Oh, wow. Look. Double slide outs. Double slide outs. That makes it. It does. King size bed. Very nice. And I like how they did the headboard, but still did three windows. Yes. Yes. Storage underneath. So yep. There's chairs. the chairs. Absolutely. Really big storage. Look at that laundry chute. I yeah. love that. Very cool. storage interesting interesting design that is cool though how you get you know yep. you can hang stuff and then they give storage down below as well yep very nice you got this you got some drawers here all soft closed i do love this the soft nice. close well i, I am a too. fan of soft closed yeah well well that's it that's the number one selling fifth wheel in the country that's the keystone montana now before everybody leaves it's now time we give you three things we love about the montana 
and three things we dislike about it. Will, what do we do first? Three things we dislike. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go first. You ready? Okay. Um. So first, this is really silly. I've never seen the black. Yeah. Covers, plastic covers. Right. I've always seen white. I've never seen black. And I feel like with the color of, like, I feel like this pops out, but in a bad way. Like, it's like the focal point of my eye, you know? Right. Like, it's clearly like, noticeable. Like, turn around. This isn't bad. You know, like, that gives a good contrast. Correct. But that's it's nice, a focal but that's point. Like a, yeah. And I can't stop looking at it, you know? Right. Well, I do not like that. So that's one. Two. Do you have a number two? Yeah, mine will be in the kitchen. Oh, well then let me do number two then. Okay. Uh, Cause I'm going to say the width of this shower. Now listen, this is gonna be very controversial y'all. Do not, do not leave negative reviews about the show. Listen folks, for how big this bathroom is, look, no, oversized bedroom. Yeah. Oversized living kitchen. room, oversized kitchen average size shower mm -hmm. i want an oversized shower yeah you know this. what i'm saying yep so that's two and then number three okay so, dislike yeah so my dislike is going to be this stove i just feel like they should have done like the bigger um stove and really oven for this size fifth wheel kind of like they do isn't that a bigger one though i think so no like the residential it's definitely not. Okay, I'm going to combo that, okay? Okay. Because I kind of disagree. I Well, but I don't want to take away from dislike because that's, that's the rules. Right. But, um, but I feel like... So here's what I'm going to say. Uh, there's no dishwasher in here. Right. And I don't see a place for a dishwasher. Exactly. So the lack of a dishwasher as well. Because again, this is... It's not made for full-time use, but a lot of people like the full-time in Montana's. Definitely. And so that's just that. Yep. I mean, you guys see that? That sticks out like a sore thumb. Okay, doesn't matter. That's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about this fifth wheel. Ready for me to go first? Yep. I'm standing in it. This kitchen, look at this countertop. Yeah. Double tower power. Look at this island. Look, this island has more countertops than some fifth wheels. Right. You know, just the island by itself. There's plenty of space, plenty of storage. I absolutely love it. That's one. I will I will give another dislike. Okay. Just What yeah. are you doing here? Either make what it all chrome or make it all silver. Yeah, I agree. That's so funny looking. I do not like that. Yeah. Okay, so that's one like. Okay, so like number two. All right, my like is gonna be here. Okay. Typically, I don't like when they do the, you know, do the dish or the washer dryer here, especially when they don't put any shelves in. Yes, but. But with this, it doesn't bother me. Yes. And I just feel like they did this multi-purpose. Yeah. Um, because you can have the, the washer dryer here. You can use it as a coat, coat closet. Yes. It's right when you walk in the door, super yes. easy. I like it super easy and nice and it's just wonderful yeah so that's two and then number three is outside for me well okay. well my number three is inside and outside okay so follow me i'll be able to explain i love the double slide outs in the bedroom yes it makes the bedroom feel like a bedroom but also to combo it I love how it didn't take away from your awning right. space. Right, you still have tons of awning space. At the end of the day, you are spending a lot of time outside, so the awning's very important. And for you to have the awning on the slide out and right here, and to get the double um, living room, bedroom, and the slide outs in the bedroom, it's just awesome. Well, Will, that's it. That's the review. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. If you're in the market for a fifth wheel, don't leave yet. Uh, in a few seconds, we are going to have competitions to the Montana show up on screen right here. There are personal recommendations, so make sure you watch those videos as well. If you guys have any questions and you need to get in contact with Will, myself, or somebody from General RV, the only way to do that to get the best price is to go to mattsrvreviews.com and click one of those three tabs. Again, tab one will send you to somebody from my team to get you a price, or tab two is General RV questions. And then tab number three is just going to recommend that you join us on Club Art Deco on Facebook. 
Um, Will, do you have anything you want to say? Hey guys, all right, so thanks again for watching. And um, definitely leave in the comments below, let us know what you liked and didn't like. Keystone is definitely watching. And they are, you know, this is their baby. They want to perfect the Montana, so they want to know what you have to say. Yep. So again, thanks for watching. And Will, uh, so the, do you see the videos right next to you? Right here? Guess which ones I picked? Which ones? Uh, Keystone Alpine. Okay. And an Alliance Paradigm. Okay, cool. You think that's a good option Definitely. for people to watch? Yeah. Make sure you guys watch them. Thank you so much for watching. Will, we'll see you next time.